The classic computers like smartphones, laptops, and PCs are machines that encode information in binary bits that can either be zeros or ones. On the other hand, a quantum computer uses quantum bits or qubits. Now what are these qubits and why we want quantum computer if we already have powerful supercomputers like Summit? This video is all about it, so sit tight and let's take a dive on quantum computing. What is quantum computing? Before understanding it, let's first understand what is quantum mechanics. Ordinary computer chips work for great things like software development, gaming, video production and countless more. But it doesn't think about or absorbs the way universe work or uncertain things like nature. We can't really predict what will happen next like in temperature or weather because these things are uncertain. There are many challenges that today's system will never solve it. Problems above a certain size and complexity, we don't have enough computational power on the earth to tackle them. At the microscopic level, many strange things are happening and properties of matter needs to be measured. Even supercomputer can't predict this. That's where scientists introduce the field of science which try to explain this type of problems called quantum mechanics. These quantum mechanics are processed by quantum computers. Common definition says quantum computing is harnessing and exploiting the laws of quantum mechanics to process information. A quantum computer can process a vast number of calculations simultaneously. But what makes it different? Mainly the way it processes the information using qubits. These qubits are basic unit of memory in quantum computer. Normal bits uses on or off situation, 0 for off and 1 for on. However, in qubits, not only it takes 0 and 1 for on off situation, it can also be in what's called superposition where they are both on and off at the same time or somewhere on a spectrum between the two. Qubits can also be linked together using a phenomenon called quantum entanglement. The result is that a series of qubits can represent different things simultaneously. But what can a quantum computer do that a classic computer can't? It can be used for factoring large numbers or solving large numbers of possible combinations. Example include trying to find the prime factors of a very large number or the base root between two places. Not only calculation of these large numbers, they have the potential to rapidly accelerate the development of artificial intelligence. Quantum computing will help us to design new materials like lightweight batteries for cars and airplanes, new catalysts that can produce fertilizer more efficiently and more effective medicines. These systems are highly sensitive. Heat, electromagnetic fields, and collisions with air molecule can cause a qubit to lose its quantum properties. This process is known as quantum decoherence, which causes the system to crash, which is why quantum computers operate at temperature close to absolute zero, colder than the vacuum of space. You can see how this computer have huge pipes and cooling system to maintain temperature. Now let's talk about some quantum computers that are already developed or in development and what they have done so far. In 1927, German physicist Werner Heisenberg introduced the uncertainty principle, which explains that you can't know everything about the quantum particles at the same time. After that, many computers were built starting from 1998 having a single qubit. Then in 2000, researchers at IBM developed the 5-qubit quantum computer. Later, IBM and Stanford University successfully demonstrated source algorithm on a quantum computer. Source algorithm is a method for finding the prime factor of numbers, which is also used for cryptography. In 2005, total of 8-qubit system was demonstrated and in 2006, a 12-qubit system was introduced. Canadian startup company D-Wave demonstrated 16-qubit processor in 2007. This was the major year for development of quantum computer. The computers were able to solve many complex problems in milliseconds. Rich IT Computing has also developed the 19-qubit quantum computer and are working on to increase the unit to a total of 128 qubits. 
But right now, as of 2020, the most powerful quantum computer place is held by Google. They have developed a new 54-qubit processor named Sycamore that is comprised of fast, high-fidelity quantum logic gates. As per Google say, the quantum computer can perform complex target computation in 200 seconds which will take 10,000 years to produce a similar output by any supercomputers. This achievement is called quantum supremacy, which basically means speed up advantage that a quantum computer will have over a classical computer in a certain field. That was a lot to take in, but this computer will help us to study in remarkable detail of interaction between atoms and molecules. This could help us design new drugs and new materials cyber security, better batteries, traffic optimization, weather forecasting and climate change, and of course, artificial intelligence. That's all guys, thanks for watching, if you like our video, give the thumbs up, consider subscribing, and see you next time.